pre-flight checks. On this decades-old craft, nobly named the CH-46 Sea Knight. But those who have flown it and in it gave it a nickname fit for a prince. You look at it from the front, it looks like it's a frog getting ready to jump. This aircraft has a huge, long history in the Marine Corps, uh, from Vietnam all the way to uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Assaults, troop movement and recovery, supply missions, and refugee relief like this mission during the Vietnam War. Now, HMM-774 has a unique designation. The last operational squadron. Pressure Chief of NG, oh, look good. On this day, Major J.C. Spencer will fly alongside his CO, Lieutenant Colonel Dominic DeFazio. Okay, three, two, one, drop in the hammer. They'll tell you it's as notorious for its sound as it is for its looks. Because those Marines are going to be on the deck to come and see you in a, in a little bit. Or to the sound of the injured Marine or uh, soldier on the deck, it's going to mean that there's help on the way. Now these helicopters with a storied past will have a historical future. This frog, repainted in its Vietnam era best, is set to enter museum display as part of a Smithsonian exhibit. That leaves Spencer, DeFazio, and the Marines preparing 774 for the future aboard the MV-22 Osprey. With dual rotors reminiscent of the 46, Spencer says the sleek Osprey serves the Marines in a similar fashion. Humanitarian aid, disaster relief, Kazovac. But its differences are key to the modern mission. It can take off and land like a helicopter and fly with the speed of a plane at twice the speed of the CH-46, a payload three times larger and a six times larger range with more modern controls. V-22 brings a whole lot of capability to the Marine Corps specifically, but really to every service that's out there. You can get anywhere you need to go and you need to get there quickly.